The number one seeded Kansas Jayhawks and the number four seeded Purdue Boilermakers squared off at the Sprint Center in Kansas City on Thursday, March 23rd at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Kansas defeated Michigan State in the second round 90-70 to advance into the Sweet 16 round, while Purdue emerged victorious against Iowa State, outscoring them 80-76. The Kansas Jayhawks ended the regular season schedule with eight consecutive wins and a 16-2 conference record, 30-4 overall, for the top spot in the Big 12. They ended conference play, however, with a loss against TCU, but the upset defeat was quickly shrugged off with a big 162 win in the first round of the Big Dance over UC Davis and a victory in the second round over the Spartans, 90-70. Kansas is now 6-7 against Michigan State and 2-1 and in the conference play with two consecutive victories. Interesting fact is that the Big 12 Conference has three teams in the Sweet 16 as Baylor and West Virginia also qualified. Josh Jackson led the team against the Spartans with 23 points and 3 rebounds, while Frank Mason III added 20 points and a team-high 5 assists. Two more Jayhawks scored in double figures as Devontae Graham and Landon Lucas added 18 and 10 points respectively. LeGarrel Vick made a solid contribution from the bench with 7 points and 5 rebounds. Senior guard Frank Mason III leads the team in scoring this season with 20.8 points per game. He also tops the passing segment with 5.2 assists while adding a solid 4.1 boards. Josh Jackson scores 16.6 points, while Devontae Graham averages 13.3 points per contest. Similar to the Jayhawks, the Purdue Boilermakers ended the regular season schedule ranked first in the conference, 14-4 in conference play and 27-7 and overall, only to end the Big Ten tournament in their first game with a quarterfinal overtime loss to Michigan, 70-74. In the NCAA tournament, they defeated Vermont 80-70 in the first round and Iowa State 80-76 in the second round to advance to the regional semifinals. Vincent Edwards and Caleb Swinnigan led the team in a victory over the Cyclones. Both recorded double-double performances as Edwards scored 21 points and collected 10 boards, while Swinnigan scored 20 points and collected a team-high 12 boards and also recorded 7 assists. Isaac Haas contributed greatly with 14 points in only 15 minutes from the bench, while Dakota Mathis added 8 points and matched Swinnigan's 7 assists. Caleb Swinnigan leads the team across the board this year with 18.5 points, 12.6 rebounds, and 3 assists in a team-high 32.5 minutes on the floor per game. Vince Edwards averages 12.7 points, while Isaac Haas gets 12.6 points per contest. They also collect 5.0 and 5.1 boards, respectively. Taking a look at some of the betting statistics, the Kansas Jayhawks are 14 and 17 against the spread overall, 8 and 11 at home, and 6 and 6 away. They are 13 and 16 on the over/under, 10 and 6 at home, and 3 and 10 away. The Jayhawks are 6 and 4 against the spread, and 7 and 3 on the over/under in their last 10 games overall. They are 1-2 against the spread and 3-0 oh on the over-under in the conference tournament and in the first and second round of NCAA play. On the other side of the court, the Boilermakers are 15-12 on the over-under, 8-7 at home and 7-5 and away. They are 19-11 against the spread overall, going 14-4 at home and 5-7 and away. The Boilermakers are 6-3-1 against the spread and 6-4 and on the over-under in the last 10 games overall. They are 2-1 against the spread and 3-0 oh on the over-under in the conference tournament and first and second round of NCAA play. The Jayhawks score 83.4 points per game while allowing 72 points per contest this season, while the Boilermakers are scoring 80.1 points per game and allowing 67.5 points per game. The Jayhawks will be without Udoka Azubueki, who is out for the remainder of the season with a wrist injury. The Boilermakers will play without Jaquiel Taylor, who is also out for the remainder of the season due to an ankle injury. The last meeting between these two teams happened in 2012 when Kansas narrowly outscored Purdue 63-60 and advanced to the second round of the NCAA tournament. A similar story could develop again as the slight advantage in the rankings goes to the Jayhawks, but overall, this game is far from certain. A tough low-scoring game is our prediction, so we'll go with the Kansas Jayhawks at minus 5 and take under 156.5 points.